and high frequencies, everyone. I hope your day is going pretty, pretty wonderful. Um, I am here in my little mini lab. <laughs> And I am refilling my tincture bottles. And this one is reishi. I'm spilling. Uh, that I'm refilling into my bottle. And I'm going to do my mix. Because I do a mixture of lion's mane. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and reishi. And I take a combination of the two. So my little homemade tinctures, that's all. So I'm adding them back to this and do half and half. <coughs> I promise you all, every time I go to record and do a video, um, my allergies want to say, hey, what's up? I don't know what that's about, but it happens. It happens all the time. Before I get into the dream, I do want to tell you, I just recently had a deja vu moment. And I haven't experienced deja vu. It's been almost, it feels like it's been almost a year. It may have been longer. Uh... But, oh, mad chemist over here. <laughs> it may have been longer, but it's been a while since I've uh, experienced deja vu. And it felt like I was sitting there and I was seeing the next moments, like, start to play out. And it's always deja vu. I don't know if it happens to you all, but deja vu always occurs at like some very odd moments. I do remember the last time I had it, I was at home and I was in my bathroom. I was sweeping the floor of my bathroom and I stopped and I remember it was deja vu. And I think that was the last time that I had deja vu, which has probably been over a year ago, maybe. Yeah, sometime in 2020. And then today, I was sitting at my desk and um, at work, and I felt it come over me. Like, I felt the next moments that were getting ready to transpire. I saw the text messages coming in on the phone. I heard the voices. I just felt this energy. And even though the things that I saw didn't happen, the things that I saw that were going to happen after that moment, I sat there still. I felt the text messages and everything going on, and they didn't they didn't come through. Um, I felt the next moments that were going to go on, and they didn't happen. So I don't know. I'm really kind of clueless on everything when it comes down to deja vu. I, I guess I could, you know, we can make our assumptions about what it is. Do we really even know what deja vu is? I don't know. Um, some say that, you know, before we reincarnated and came into this life, you know, I, I was told that we got to see a snapshot of our entire life, you know, before we came in. And that's why we have moments that flash back into our memory. I don't know. It's just, it feels like I, every time I have deja vu, I feel like I have to be still. Because in the next moment, I could, I could possibly change or make a mistake in what needs to happen moving forward. And I really don't, I really don't know. Um. <laughs> so I just allow, you know, the universal consciousness to take over and allow them to allow the, the energies, the higher frequency energies that's around me, that surrounds me to take over and make the next moves for me. And I just sit in silence. That's the only thing I know to do. Um, so 
If you all know more about Deja Vu than I do, then feel free to, you know, leave a comment on the video or send me a message on Instagram, uh, whatever you feel on connecting. But um, I'm going to briefly go into the dream. It's not going to be a long video. I'm going to go into the dream last night on what I recall. Um, and I was felt like I was out of town, maybe out of the country. And um, I knew this part of the land. And there was this investor there. He had an assistant. Well, the investor was there... Strictly, he, he needed to find somewhere to stay. He needed some things drafted and printed out on the computer. He needed to get to this bank um, to withdraw. And he just needed to do some things. And um, I was like, okay, I can help you. I got him a hotel. Um, I told him I, I, printed, I could print out your uh, information. I had like a crew with me that I was delegating these things for them to do for the investor. And I was like, okay, uh, he needs a hotel. We got the hotel. He needs his paperwork printed out. Um, he also was <clears throat> paying me a lump sum of money that we I had been contracted to do for him. And I had written out the invoice. He was like, make sure you give me that invoice. And you know, I was talking to him and his assistant. And I was like, they was just following me around, you know, Felt like we were like in this hotel, and then we were at the bank, and then we were back at the hotel. Um, while I was doing all this paperwork and getting everything done and talking to the people around me that needed to get this uh, all this worked up for him before he left out, it was someone that I knew, and I know uh, this lady. She went to high school with me. Uh, we're not friends. We're not close. I just know her. Um, she had been talking to the investor. So while I was doing all this work, getting the investor set up and everything, she uh, was negotiating with him behind my back and the location that I had planned to have a move in or either use as a, a real estate uh, property rental property she had already came in with her people and negotiated with him and she said i got it for 400 dollars a month and me and her assistant whoever that was they had negotiated with him to get this property from him for 400 dollars a month and i was upset because i'm like i was going to ask him to get that property i've been working with him you know i've been working with him you're a trainer why would you go behind my back and talk to him about this property when well, you know i've been negotiating i've been at the bank i've been doing everything with him hand in hand working with him and you go behind my back and you do this and the energy of the investor in the in the dream was more over like it wasn't like he had any alliance with anybody he just wanted to get shit done he just needed shit done like he didn't care it wasn't like he was working with me and like this it it was like hey if she can Work this dip, boom, you got it. If you can do this, that's kind of like how he was. So I was like on his ass making sure that I got everything I needed. And then behind my back, she was actually striking up deals with this man unbeknown to me. So um, <laughs> I was frustrated. I was upset. I went up, I remember in the dream, I went up to her and I was in her face and I was upset. And I was like, how could you do this when you know that I was working with him and Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, I pondered on this dream throughout the day. And what I was thinking is that you have to know who are your friends, who's in your circle. And you have to really, if you're working with somebody, if you're doing work or I don't know if you're working with investors, I don't know. You have to have contracts, 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 paperwork, signatures, notaries everything to make sure that you're locked in because it can always be somebody hanging out in the background that's waiting to get into your spot and take your position on what they see coming in and i feel like um there may be people who are you know really energies that are disguised as people but it's really like these energies um who see the 
I would really say that they see the the light in you. They see the the um, the energy that you hold. They know who you are at your core, at your essence. They they see that. They peep game, pretty much. And because they do, they'll allow you to shine your light, to do all the work, and then they'll try to come and steal your shine. They'll try to come and um, and try to take what you've already worked for. Right. And even though I know what's for what's for you will be, but we also have to um, protect ourselves. Um, we also can't chatter and tell people about things that we have going on prematurely. We have to uh, make sure that we stay cloaked and covered when we're working in business, in relationships, um, in family, if things is going on in the family, don't chitter chatter tell people what's going on in your family and things that's going on. That's private business. I remember when I was little, my mom always told what goes on at home stays at home. You don't go around telling everybody our business, right? And it means so much because people can have motives. And if you're opening yourself up to these people and the motives that they have, then you're going to get the backlash of it, okay, if that makes sense. So um, just make sure you're covered. Don't chitter-chatter about different projects you have going on or business ventures you have going on prematurely. If it hasn't come to fruition, if it's still a thought, if it's still in the gestation phase, if it's still, you know, in the pregnancy phase and you're, you know, trying to make sure that the baby actually makes it out, you know, don't tell people everything you have going on in plan. I don't care if it's a family member, a close friend. Keep your ideas between you, yourself, and I, unless you have a business partner and you are collaborating and working together. Like in the dream, I was with my team and I was only really working with my team. But these other people, it's like they knew what was going on and I hadn't solidified everything. I had only solidified the part that I was doing. But in my mind, I was like, well, after I finish this, I'm going to ask him about the property. When I should have went ahead and did everything with him because he was there working with me. So I always, when I'm going into my dream state, even in this waking reality dream state, so to speak, um, everything is on you. You have to really reflect on what role you play in everything. And I feel like the role that I'm seeing that I played in the dream was the fact that I had this thought, but at the same time, I didn't want to, you know, do everything or tell him everything that I had planned. And when I should have went ahead and like, hey, this is what I want to do. Work with you doing this. Work with you doing this real estate. Work the all parts of it. And let's get it done. And that way I could have solidified my spot rather than holding back and holding back on something that was right in front of my face, right? So we can't hold back on things that's right in front of our face. If it's there for us, grab. Grab what's there for you. Take it, okay? If someone that you see is showing interest in you and you're like, well, I'm going to hold back and, you know, I don't know. And then somebody else started talking to him. He was like, what? You know, da, 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 da. no, they were right there for you. So you should have went ahead and right and took what was yours and be like, okay, let's see where this goes. Um, even when it comes down to a job situation, if you have a job and you know you're an asset to the company, go to them and say, hey, you know, I think I require require a raise or incentives or stipends, whatever the case may be. Let them know, know your worth, pretty much. It's kind of like what it all sums up to, is know your worth. Because if you don't know your worth, it's somebody else that's out there that knows their worth or feel like they're worthy, even if they don't know it, they just feel like they're worthy. And they right there ready to boop, snatch up what's been clearly laid out for you, right? So don't miss out on things that's laid out for you. Take what is yours. And even so, when things are in the beginning phase of growing, allow it to gestate, allow it to grow. Grow, allow it to go through its pregnancy phase and don't chitter chatter about things that's going on in your home life and your relationships.
So it's very important that you know your worth. No chitter chatter once again <laughs> about private issues that's going on in your life with your family, with your relationship, with your husband, with your wife, with your significant other, with your partnerships and business, whatever the case may be. Um, we need to kind of, we have to close ourselves off. We really have to close ourselves off and protect ourselves. Um, there are forces and energies that we cannot see. They come from, you know, different realms, all right? And we battle not against flesh and blood, right? We know it, it's not this physical, all right? But it's the energies, it's the spirits, it's the frequencies of these other people that's really the battle. And if your frequency within you isn't rooted and grounded and you know the wavelength that you're on and you're kind of like, oh, like I was in a dream, like I'm going to wait. I don't know. If I had a been strong and who I was and knew my worth in that dream, I'd be like, mm -mm. Uh, I'm doing this, this, this. Y'all take care of that. Um, sir, I know you have this property. What do you want to do with it? Let's discuss it. Da -da 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 -da. And then the business would have moved forward instead of me holding back. And then somebody else took it. And I get mad at her when I should have been mad at myself. All right, so, yeah, that was the dream last night. Um, more so of a lesson. For me and possibly for anybody else who's out there watching. Um, and I um, want you all to take this time. During this weekend, we're getting ready. We just got out of the 11-11. We're still in this 11-11 energetic gateway. So still feel the energy. I'm still feeling the energy is really strong. I'm feeling really connected um, to everything. Um, I was driving and just looking at the trees and the sky and... Um, just people walking and I'm just feeling connected to everyone and everything so much that, you know, I was crying. I just felt so connected. It's like you feel this joy and overwhelming oneness with all. I can't even describe it, but it was just, it's such a peace. It doesn't feel like you're bogged down with attachments. It just feels like I feel my core, I feel like my origin, I feel my angelic self, my divine self that's here and feels everything, um, the oneness of all. So make sure that you ground and connect yourself in the oneness of all. Don't get so bogged down with, you know, this day to day, you know, cook, eat, take care of myself. Pay these bills. Take care of my husband. Take care of my wife, my children. Got to do this and got to do that. And my family, or if you have elderly parents, taking care of them or what the gossip and things that's going on, like disconnect yourself from that and make sure you can go in, take deep breaths, really focusing on your breath. That has really been, oh my God, that has really, 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 really been wonderful for me lately is connecting back to my breath when I'm not so congested. <laughs> um, but it comes and goes. But definitely taking deep breaths, expanding the belly out, and then exhale, bringing the belly back in. Inhale, exhale out, belly in. And these are the same breaths that I do um, teaching Tai Chi. And when I'm doing Tai Chi, um, the same thing you should do sitting at your altar or laying down in the bed before you go to sleep, um, taking you into a meditative state or taking you into the dream state. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you all there. I'm going to um, go do my breaths at the altar and um, take me a little break from the movement of today, of everything that's been going on, do a little bit more stretching and just prepare my mind and my spirit and my body for going into the evening and what my evening needs to look like, all right? So hopefully you all will take some of these tips that I've given you. I hope that it was enlightening to you that something that I said drops a seed in your subconscious mind that helps you on this life path. And it's just not for words. It's just not for uh, YouTube, social media, whatever. It's for you to be a higher ascended being. All right? So peace and high frequency.